Reldnak Natsu Natsurk. As the name implies, he is completely the opposite of Christian, with his semi-bare chest symbolizing his raging homosexuality, which horrifies and offends Chris. He finally stresses the point that it is crucial that boys and girls stay straight. Also keep in mind that while you're playing with these things, you should keep in mind of what your true original gender is. And hopefully in due time or now, each and every one of you will stay straight. And look at me! Do I look like... And besides, if you stray away from the straight path, it can really jeopardize the entire future. Originally, I was not fond of him, because it was obvious that he was a homo. Yes, I am a homophobe. I fear them all, and I fear the tormenting temptations of falling off the straight path. He once again reiterates that he is not a homosexual. Every one of you who thinks I'm homo and calls me that because I am not, I'm straight. I'm straight. You're the homos! Every last one of you! I'm straight, and nothing is going to change that. But was still tormented by the images of a transgender Rose Chu. I am straight, damn it. I will not be veered in any other disgustingly grotesque direction, and proclaimed that he empathized with the fairer sex. I feel that I am truly in touch with my feminine side. Sometimes I wonder between my caring attitude and the lack of a sweetheart if I was born the wrong gender. He further defended his sexuality by proclaiming that he loved vaginas and hated dicks. Get it through your thick skulls as you f***ing possibly can. I am f***ing straight for women. A male lesbian. Thank you. I was born straight and I will never be changed that way. Thank you. What did I say? Christian is gay. Do you really think you're gay? No, I did not. I'm straight. I don't think you don't even have a dick down there. You are a bitch. Got a big old set of ovaries. No, 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 don't. Okay, okay, okay. You have a dick. You have a dick. Don't fucking show me. Inspired by a scene in a recently aired Family Guy episode, Christian filmed a video in which he condemns homosexuality with reference to the Bible. And still, he has quoted the Bible verse that has just, that basically just says it in a nutshell. Leviticus, chapter 18. Verse 22. Do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That is detestable. Even the land was defiled among such things. So I punished it for sin, and the land vomited out its inhabitants. But you must keep my decrees and my laws. And they have born any aliens living among you must not do any of these detestable things. Especially sleeping with a man as you would a woman. You homos. You'd be gay if you were it. That's so stupid. It's not, I mean, it's not true. I mean, I'm straight. I am straight! Chris stated that Jackie's description of women with self-esteem and psychological issues described him perfectly. Chris bought his first set of sports bras. I've been wearing one for a try. It is so comfortable, and my man boobs do not bounce as easily. I jumped a few times to see. OMG, wow! This material feels so, so, so good on my skin. It's like a giddly pleasure or something. But anyway, I'm straight. I've been telling them every, I've been telling them numerous times in the YouTube videos that I'm straight. Oh Jesus! I mean, they probably Christ. just think in the closet. I mean, you, if you just I'm straight. I'm free as a bird. And this bird, pe this bird, you cannot change. I mean, you could be bisexual and it wouldn't be bad. I mean, it, no, no, I am not bisexual. I'm straight. I am straight. I am not gay. I am not bisexual. I am straight. I am straight. And don't worry, Ian Brandon Anderson. I am sure you will find yourself a nice girlfriend free boy to have as a sweetheart someday, you homo. I would never do that. Never have a such change operation. I'm proud to be a male. Hey, look, this is fun. Sonichu tells her that he was chatting with some of his fans when some homosexual fans made their appearance. While he states that he welcomes fans of all orientations, he is greatly troubled by the fact that the comics have been misunderstood and thought by many as promoting homosexuality. I do not want to be forced or intimidated into or bullied into lifestyles that I just not am of or feel comfortable around. He declares that almost everyone in Quickville and the surrounding area is straight, including their true creator, Christopher Christian Ricardo Weston Chandler. I'm a man! And I'm straight! That I am straight, and I do not care for their kind. Barbara became bothered again when Chris started putting on makeup. 
with her fearing that he was turning into a homosexual or a transvestite. I am still totally heterosexual. Otherwise, I would be a full-blown you-know-what. I am a caring, emotional, feeling, heterosexual human being. The medical study's aim was to find a cure for homosexuality, but they needed a sample of pure, untainted, straight blood. So Chris offered them a sample of his own blood. And I am happy to stay that way, and I want to continue to be heterosexual. I am happy with myself there. Christian is not a goddamn homo! Christian is straight! On October 4th, after Colin theorized that Chris hated the sight of male breasts because of repressed sexual urges and suggested that he would satisfy Catherine instead, Chris decided to block him. Because I love you. Oh, you know you're very pretty. You're always pretty. She's sleeping in comfort up in my room. At least now I have finally confirmed that you, a shorter than me woman, can crash on my couch and I would take the bed without having feet hit me. I mean, I'm uncertain my bed is wide enough for two. My dad slept with only a t-shirt on. No shorts or briefs at all. I saw his penis. It grossed me out. Left me quite trauma drama. Or even endorsing it at all. Incest being wincest. OMF me! Chris addressed the claim of incestual relationships contained within the stories of her Sonichu comics. Because I did heal something out of my mother that time and she believed it. I kind of have to... And I did that more than once also. She felt better. And give them hugs anyway, even if they don't want it. They will feel the love eventually. Because I know I have. My mom never stopped hugging me. Magic Chan wrote that Chris's parents, Robert and Barbara, while they were still developing, were his waifu. He singled out Barbara as having been a guilty pleasure waifu, writing that she considered the part of the story where the elderly mother still loves and holds her adult son, like her baby, to have been creepy. Magic Chan agreed with her sentiment. Christine has been hell-bent on being a parent, so she made a pleasant invest in, in, investment and got my mother pregnant. Go on, go on. Thank you. I love you. Love you. I hear you. I love you, dear. Very awesome. She's quite physically able and whatnot. Chris Chan promises that she will have sex with Sonachu, her son, later. With her watching, I yelled at a body pillow, pretending it was her. I pretended I had my iconic shirt in hand, and I slapped, punched, and even humped, then tossed the pillow towards the head of my bed. I gave her a sample of my strong-handed massage that my mother enjoyed in the past. Mia really liked that. Anna replied with a joke about him losing his virginity in prison. Chris didn't seem to notice. A few cars of uh, rape around here lately, which is kind of sad, really. He was like a lost little boy. Sometimes I think he saw us as sort of mother figures, which seems a little creepy now. She closed by notifying her followers that she gave her mother hugs and kisses. Barb and Chris are way too physically intimate. It's one thing to describe their creepy relationship, it's quite another to watch it IRL. They hold hands and Chris is always putting his arm around her and rubbing her shoulders sensually. That shit I'd do to someone I'd want to bang, not a family member. It's okay. Thank you, Bob. Love you. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Show me a hug. Give it. Come on, both arms. Okay, let me go. Don't blame it. <laughs> Turn me loose, what? I'm thirsty. Come on. Just say it once. Turn me loose. Turn me loose, my dude. If you're supposed to say turn me loose, you silly goose. Turn me loose, you silly goose. <laughs> he used to do that more flirtingly. Like uh, you said, Son Sonichu is his brother. I mean, why would he, you know, even if he was gay, why would he go for his brother? That's just, that's just sick. I also have a fetish for old people, too. Even my own mother, as she suddenly evolved into her final form. The three then became embarrassed as Roberta spontaneously ejaculated. Chris admits to somewhat approve of sex between sisters. I mean, it's not like we're gonna produce, you know, so there's no messed up stuff there. I don't know, I guess between sisters. But then my mom is also a bit jealous of me loving of loving another woman more than her. Nor did he spend a night in jail worrying about the safety of his mother, growing mutual deep emotions and fondness with mutual care and respect for over a month now. And I really wish for her and mine relationship to be forever lasting, as well as the sweetest, kindest, and most true and pure soul that she is. 
She and I are a great 95 plus percent match from over the 1000 questions we both have answered on our OkCupid profiles. You can never top that. The trolls that are calling me and telling me that Ivy is a troll, she is not. Because I have heard her voice. I have heard her voice for over a month. And she is true in her voice and in her heart. Christian and Jackie had the first chat on AOL Instant Messaging, during which they discussed in depth his trolling experiences and his sexual activities. Where God and Jesus tell Chris that Ivy is a sweetheart to be and is the one who will fix his biological clock. God also foretells of the vanquishing of four cent garbage, which would allow Christian and Ivy to live together in peace. Rest assured, she is not a troll, so nobody say otherwise. I have talked to her on webcam and video and uh, audio and heard her voice over, micro over her microphone to my speakers and headphones. Chris talked about his idea for a specialist task force to stop trolls called Trollbusters. And I'd like to thank my sweetheart Ivy for her most heartfelt emotional support. He uploaded another video in which he denies claims that Ivy is a troll. Ivy is not a troll. She is real. She is true, and she is my sweetheart. We are going to be together in the near future, and we are going to have sex. We're going to lose our virginities to each other, and it's going to be awesome. Wait, did you tell me about the beats? Yeah, I came with my uh, ACO uh, the one time, and I uh, uh, didn't really know how they work, so, uh, you know, I just, like, you know, was, like, winging it, and uh, it didn't really uh, turn me on or anything, so... I pulled them out, and the, and the string and the beats were covered in food, so I put them in the trash can and forget about them. Chris? Yeah. Thank you for telling me this. Ivy, Ivy, love you, Ivy. Ivy, Ivy. At least you're not the poison this kind. I'm happy that okay. you're able to share these secrets with me. I mean that as in I'm happy that we have a trusting relationship between you and I. I love you, Blanca. I cannot bear to live without you, baby. So please come here as soon as possible so we can be together forever. I love you, Blanca. I always will. Nothing's gonna come between us, sweetheart. It's you and me forever. I love you. Chris learned of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog game and accompanying animated TV series, Sonic Boom. He was strongly angered by the redesign of the character Sonic, who was going to have blue-colored arms rather than the traditional tan color. Jackie created some original pony characters inspired by the cartoon and merchandise series My Little Pony so that he might feature them in his comics. Chris declined the offer, stating that ponies did not belong to the universe of Sonic Chu and Rose Chu. And they are not going to bother me anymore. I am regaining control of my life. They have played with me for, for long enough, and they're not going to play with me anymore. I'm not going to let them. He then tagged 21 accounts who had left comments on his previous posts, many of whom possessed trollsome flipnote IDs, such as Ghost of Bob Chandler. And trolls, you're not going to get, you're not going to get me to go back online so easily. You scared me off of the internet. I would never do blood and gore. That's just gross. Because I am not going to be pushed around anymore by anybody on the internet. And I will kick your ass because I'm crazy. <laughs> and for your information, my father is alive and well, so that rumor is false. My father is alive and well. Even that considering, I still would not get any piercings. Finally, Chris proclaims that the trolls should stop bullying him because he is ignoring them. You bullies, yeah, I know y'all are afraid of me. Because y'all, because without me, y'all would have nobody to pick on at this point. No matter how many times you direct your influences towards me, I'm just ignoring you. Because basically all you're doing is basically being unheard of. You're basically talking to a brick wall. And I am just blatantly ignoring you hands down. So you may as well just give up. Your, vo your, vo your opinions and voices are not being heard. Y'all are not scaring me. You're not scaring... Y'all are not scaring Blanca. You're, not you're scaring nobody, misters. Recently, uh, yeah, I know. I'm drinking plenty. I'm drinking plenty of orange juice, and I'm eating plenty of chicken noodle soup. Down with those slanderous trolls! I give them no more food to feed off of. Christian made a response video to Liquid Chris's return. I will only respond to him this one time because he is a lowly troll, and I just do not give a dang about him. 
Even worse, I'd probably hire a prostitute out of desperation. That is a fate I do not want to ever feel. Not even a cheap whore would want your small dick inside her. The new revitalized sonic shoes and rose shoes bowed down before him, treating him like a god. But Chris tells them that they are in breach of the first commandment of the Bible. He appreciates the gesture regardless. People that I didn't know those movies are still are still alive and well. They just oh oh, oh right them. right I forgot because top the characters are real people and apparently I'm guilty of of multiple homicide now. Right. Have um, you ever watched the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yes, I have. It was a good movie. Yeah, you got this whole tomb world there, and mm -hmm. within that, it's it would coincide with the comic book world and every individual comic published or unpublished drawn all together. Tweeting that she wanted out of this dimension because of some negative news regarding President Donald Trump. Chris wrote that she wanted to join her. Okay, but Chris, um, you know, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, that was still a movie and everything in it was determined, predetermined by the movie writers and the director. And I mean, there is no, you know, like alternate cartoon world in reality. I mean, cartoon characters don't actually think and feel things. You obviously are naive about that because you're not understanding that possibility so, of that universe actually existing. So you do believe that um, when an artist creates a cartoon character, that character actually becomes real? Is that what you're saying to me? Within that universe, yes. 